And still on national matters, the continued call for restructuring has once again been re-echoed for equal opportunity for all Nigerians. This was part of the calls by the Movement for Nigeria Restructuring at a conference in Lagos. They also called for the immediate release of former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress of Nigeria, Showare Omoyele. The only solution that can keep this country united, the only solution that can keep this country going, the only solution that can synergize the positioning energies of the Nigerian nationalities and ethnic and tribal growth that make up this country is through restructuring and call on justice, equity, and oneness. If the country is not restructured, the discordant tones will continue to increase. And then now we are now seeing the drum beats of not only war, a drum beat of separation. This conference will be incomplete if we do not speak out against the looming anarchy in the country as a result of President's action to forcefully suppress any opposing view which is guaranteed by our Constitution. I am referring to the lawful arrest of and decision of Mr. Sawore and other Nigerians for planning to simple civil disobedience once commended and severally undertaken by Buhari and his supporters in 2003 and 2011. In fact, in 2011, Buhari called for revolution when he was a presidential candidate of the CPC. He called on Nigeria to sacrifice their lives for his cause and commanded the Egyptian revolution that swept Hosni Mubarak, that's my friend Hosni Mubarak, from power. I call on the government to unconditionally release Mr. Sawari without delay. The government must guarantee his safety and well-being and those of his uh, comrades enough of these unconstitutional behaviors.